Well, you'd certainly get the impression from that scoreline that if Richmond had a kick straight in the second term, Jared, uh, this game would be all over. But the Hawks, uh, they've kicked 4-1. Tigers 6-13 in accuracy keeps Hawthorne in the game. Yeah, and uh, strangely enough, Robbo, uh, when these sides played uh, in round three together, it was a similar story with Richmond kicking four goals 16 to 5-4 uh, Hawthorne. So... They have uh, dominated play today. There's no question about that tonight, I should say. And uh, one of the players who really did get them away was Matthew Knights. He, his penetrating left foot kick is quite exceptional. And when he's not placed under enough pressure or he gets a free kick like that, then uh, he really is a dangerous player. Justin Charles has been important. Uh, I agree, yeah. With the loss of Richardson and uh, Edwards dropping a bit of form, he's just come in nicely because John Northey likes to have those couple of tall options. Well, in fact, he's got three up there now, if you uh, include Jerika, who really hasn't come into the game all that much. But, uh, look, the job really is... is uh, ahead of Hawthorne. They just do look a little bit under man for probably the first time in about three decades, Robert. Do you feel, I mean, over, the, over that period, the Hawks' spirit, their enthusiasm, their drive has been enormous. It just looks as though Richmond have taken over. I know there's a lot of young players in that Richmond side, but their spirit is just uh, not to be questioned, the Tigers. I think that's been the big difference uh, in their performance in the last two seasons. There's lots of, uh, lots of talk about philosophy on football, but uh, whether you go long or you play a possession game, it all depends on whether you uh, tackle hard, and that's the basis of all good, uh, all good uh, football, in my view. There's the scoring events for the first quarter. Uh, as you can see, Hawthorne got away to the first goal. Then it was all Richmond. Back came the Hawks with a couple. Uh, Crawford's uh, been particularly good in that area. Three first-half goals out of four goals isn't a bad performance. And in the second quarter... Well, I think that you can see there are a lot of uh, the small columns there, Richmond's behinds. A few of those were rushed, of course, but uh, an interesting statistic, Jared, at halftime, 26 times they've been inside 50 metres, as against the Hawks, only 14. Yes, and uh, I guess that reflects uh, what we were talking about, Darren Jarman. He really has gone down there and just picked up uh, lots and lots of kicks. But uh, they've got to get the ball from Darren Jarman and create it into forward uh, movements to create goals. There's the uh, team stats for the Tigers. Uh, Charles, as you can see, up on top. Uh